are you doing? Good. It's good to finally meet you. <laughs> a pleasure. I wanted to say congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to meet you because it's like, first of all, congratulations on Summer Holes. And would you like to tell everybody about yourself? Because I'll introduce myself in a second, but I want to start with you. Okay. Um, yeah, so I I've always loved comedy. I guess that's like kind of um cliche to say at, for one of these, but um I kind of grew up with Adam Sandler and Judd Apatow, SNL, always in the background. My parents were always up to date on the newest comedy. Yeah. Um <laughs> so we started with that. And um my parents always just really liked to mess with me. So my mom, like one of the first things she did was teach me the wrong words to Yankee Doodle. Uh, she taught me that the feather goes up the butt instead of in the hat. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my that was my music teacher's reaction as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. I'm not looking crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. That was very, uh, very uncalled for on her behalf. Um, We're but, like kids on the inside, though. So I'm just saying we're all kids on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> right um but yeah and so I've uh grew up with comedy I kept pursuing it uh, I started doing stand-up in college and um I was writing sketch comedy and stuff in high school and I just kept going <laughs> and um pursued a degree in screenwriting and um yeah I just want to make people laugh really <laughs> I love it and the world needs it right now and so you know, for everyone that's watching, whenever you guys see this, I wanted to interview Emily because she is now a finalist at the Houston Comedy Film Festival. And it's kind of a big deal because if you're not familiar, if you're watching this, we're one of the top 100 film festivals that are on Film Freeway. And so like any distributors, like filmmakers, the place to network, you're in the right spot. So I want people to see you. Um, and, <laughs> when I, and when I think about when I think about just the making of everything, what were some of what were some of the challenges? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it was definitely um, it was something I was frequently getting workshopped, and I remember that at every workshop they were like, "Summer needs to be more awkward. She needs to get into worse, more uncomfortable situations." And I was like, "I mean, I have that. Like, I have that my own experience of being super awkward and uncomfortable. But do I really want to do that?" Um, and I ended up doing it. <laughs> but it I, works though. Yeah, yeah, what? it's, it's yeah. very goofy. Uh, I feel like it's stuff that probably wasn't as bad if you were there but because it happened to me when I was a teenager I'm like oh this is really bad guy <laughs> is it like it, it takes you back into the headspace because I know I have my memories and I'm like I don't want to go back right exactly I, go back. Like, I remember like I went to high school in the age of snapchat so I have like all of my snapchat memories yeah. and they keep coming up and I'm like I don't want to see, see this <laughs> I, I am glad that I did not have Snapchat when I was in high school because <laughs> I feel like it's very different now. <laughs> it's very different now. I, I will say some stuff I did put on Snapchat, it did end up on the news, but it was because of like the hurricanes and stuff here. I will say. I'm not a weather yeah. woman, but you know, you know. <laughs> Um, and when it comes down to your project, have you had a chance? And I'm saying this, I want to say this on camera because anybody that's watching that wants to network with you, they're going to be able to see, read all about you. But I want this to be a moment where we can just learn about you and what you like and what you don't like. And when it comes down to personality types, when I think about myself as being the director of the Houston Comedy Film Festival now, so many people are coming my way. So I'm like, okay, so this investor or this composer, they want this or they have this requirement. And so it's more like for me, I really wanna know like what you're looking for um, because maybe somebody that's watching or somebody that's listening that I know, I can send it to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, and congrats by the way on your new director title. That's Thank such you. a cool thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about it because I will say like you guys work so freaking hard. Like so 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 hard like blood sweat and tears I mean I mean I've heard people 401k like I mean they like because they really believe in you know what they're doing because maybe they believe it will help somebody or that's their business investment 
um, into themselves. And so I just want to make sure that what is that pathway to help them get to where they need to go? Because even within things that I'm experiencing within my career, like I'm being trained on things where it's like, okay, I'm going to be the head of some things where I'm dealing with all these investors. Well, I am dealing with them now. And it's like, what do they want? It's like, okay, this person, they don't like this personality type or they don't like that personality type. And sometimes it's like high school. And I want to know from you, what type of people do you like working with? Um, well, I'm definitely uh, a hard worker. I, I'm i very uh, about my business, I would say, like not in a bad way, but like in a way where it's um, like I want things done and I want them done well. Uh, and I think I've always been like that, but it's gotten more and more apparent, like as I've gone through school and like working with other people, I'm like, I want I want to be on top of everything. And I'm very much like a planner person. I have all of my paper agendas, my computer agendas. Like I'm very like that. Um, but I still like to have a good time. Like, it's not like it's, you know, this or nothing, but. <laughs> You're about your business. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I want to make people laugh. I love, you know, the element of surprise with laughing. I'm really into like the shock factor. Uh, <laughs> um, I just, yeah, I just like to kind of keep going I guess is the thing it's like if if it's going to be talked about it's going to be done is my wow my what's your what's your most exciting what's the most exciting what was the most exciting thing about making summer holes or just in general what you would say about movies like what's your favorite part I always like asking that question um I think like the most exciting part is when you come up with an idea and you're like very, you're so excited about it, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I finally have something like that makes sense together yeah. <laughs> and I can add to it. And so I think the moment when you can finally say like, oh, this is like this, I know what this thing is. And mm -hmm. then just keep making it funnier. Like going back and you're like, oh, this joke is good, but do you know what would be better? Another punchline after it. Or like, you know what I mean? Just like keep adding to the humor. It's so fun. Are you going on more, are you going on more festival tours outside of the Houston comedy? You're doing more? Yeah, I've been um, submitting to as many <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. comedy. Yeah. And I know like uh, the different tournament or tournaments, hello, uh, different festivals uh, under Michael Fair. I've been looking at more and um, yeah, I chatted with him a little bit through email and he was really helpful and with his he's blogs amazing. and things. Yeah. He's, he's wonderful. Like, and even too, like, as you're speaking to me, like, don't even feel bad as you're saying, yeah, I'm talking to other people. You want to do that because right. at the end of the day, you're telling your story, but like, even on my side, you know, it's a business and it's like, we want to stay sustainable. So we have to keep making money. And at the end of the day, investors, if you want them to spend money and invest into you, it's like, okay, we have to look at the numbers at the end of the day. And so don't feel bad. And so on the business side, I look at you as a business owner. I know you're a creative and I still look at you as a business owner. I have respect for you. And so when it comes down to distribution and making sure that you're seen in many places, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And so anybody that's watching, I want you to take notes from Emily because I'm not even concerned about you. You're going to be very successful because you're being you're being very proactive and you're not waiting for the opportunity to come. You're not waiting for somebody to come. You're just, come on, I'm casting out my net. If somebody says no, Mm -mm. okay next opportunity that's what that means and so I have a lot of respect for you thank you yeah I mean hello LinkedIn like girl you're on it and by the way if you don't have it make sure you have it just FYI you know as we're adulting we're adulting we cannot just be on TikTok and we cannot just be on Facebook and Instagram we if you if you're trying to find the money the money is on LinkedIn <laughs> <laughs> but um did you have any questions for me at all um I don't know, but you never introduced yourself. <laughs> oh, you know what? I did not. I feel like I'm always introducing myself. I'm so sorry. But um, my name is Rosalind Omaka, and I am the founder of Belanle Media, and I am the new director of the Houston Comedy Film Festival, and I am also in training to be the head of the investment division for Opulence Pictures. And so all of those, if you actually look up Opulence Pictures, you will see that all of those movies have A-list celebrities attached to all of them. And so I'm on the side of the business where we deal with pre-sales. 
Are you familiar with pre-sales? Uh, not as much as it sounds like I should be. <laughs> well, no, it's okay. Um, I guess if I can, if I, I guess if I can shorten it, I'll make it like this. So you know how whenever you come up with your ideas for your script and all the work that you've done just to even do this, you know, some people like it'll take a year, it'll take two years. Why does it take so long? Because after everybody signs the contracts or before everybody signs the co all the contracts, you know, relationships. Do I like this person? Do I not like this person? Do I want to work with this person, et cetera? Does this money sound right? Yes, it doesn't sound right. Let's negotiate. So all the back and forth. That process takes some time. And so on my side for investors, it's like we make sure that we have all of the named actors. So, you know, I don't want to say any names, but like all of the actors that you know and love, they're already attached with all the contracts, the paperwork, all the trust agreements, everything is secured. And our investors, they are guaranteed their money within three to six months. So as soon as they say action, you know, right before it even like they start filming the production for the movie, it goes into theaters. You know, the investors on our side, they're already paid back, guaranteed. Wow, that's really great. And so it's like a system. So we have so many movies that go by, but like we have a great record, track record with the banks because we have proven numbers to show that it's like these movies, like they're making money and all everything goes with it. And so I know I'm excited because when I think about filmmakers like yourself, when I think about pathways as I grow in my career and as you're growing in your career, it's just like, how can we all support each other? And so I'm excited about it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. It's fun. It's fun. But um, definitely, um, how can people stay in contact with you too? Anybody that's watching, because I'm what I'm going to do, um, this is going to be also into your article because I want people to see a face. I want, I want to bring you to life and we're going to put this into the article. It makes total sense. Duh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody I, I've met has basically read this article at this point and they're all gushing about it. They're like, wow, this is like a really great thing. And it makes you sound so, so superstar. <laughs> but, but honestly, you worked so hard and you, you really deserve it because we had so many submissions that came through and it's just like, yeah, you deserve it. And so you worked really, really hard for it. <laughs> Thanks. So anybody that's watching, like, yes, yes, she earned that. And so this is just the beginning. <laughs> just yeah. The Oops, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, if, if you want to find me on Instagram, it's Hyde, like my last name, H-Y-D-E dot E-M. Um, so that's pretty much uh, where you'll find me <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I like it. And by the way, this is kind of random. Before we go behind you, I really am obsessed with like books. Is that like a whole bunch of books or like, like CD records like what's going on I love yeah. it yeah um so I'm currently <laughs> staying with well my fiance and I are currently staying with his grandparents right. so this is like their bookshelf for um like there's stuff from the 60s in here and I'm so, <laughs> they're so, so now. like that's the dream for me like I have another like library like downstairs but I put it's like in the closet but I, I made it it's like color-coded but that that's a vibe right there yeah it's I'm very books <laughs> <laughs> but it was a pleasure and um i will definitely am i gonna see you at the festival by the way can't remember yeah i'll be there your friends are gonna be there to support you yeah I'm bringing you my fiance with me. Like yeah. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Awesome. i want to i want to see everybody there it's gonna be fun and then make sure whenever you do come totally take advantage take advantage of like getting all the numbers you can while yeah. you're there because so many people are flying like just so you know like when we look at all the data we have like a lot of people coming in top from like LA, New York, um, Chicago, Austin, and then Houston. Like we're number five on the list and we're the Houston Comedy Film Festival. So people <laughs> like whenever they came at the last festival, they flew in for like one day and they were like, how quickly is it going to take me to get to the airport? And I was like, um, I was like, uh, like, where's your luggage? They're like, I didn't bring any luggage. I just came straight here and I'm going to go straight back. Dang. Yeah. So like I met people like Phil. Um, he does like the set stuff for like the Barbie movie. Um oh, cool. like so you're gonna meet really cool people there, I'll just say. And um, do you have anybody that's gonna fly in or like Uber or drive or anything? Uh I'm driving in. Okay. <laughs> um, in your article, there is a discount. There's like a travel discount thing. So oh, yeah. all of your film festival runs, you should get like there's a it's like a database. You should get up to 30% off. Okay. Awesome. I was like, I always like to tell people that because when I went to Colorado, um, I did do a car rental and um, 
I was going to pay for Uber and it was like $60 one way from the airport to there. But when I did the rental through the app, it was like 25 bucks per day. Oh, that's not bad. It was like a, it was a Dodge charger and it was nice. And I'm like 25 bucks a day. That's cheap. I got it. <laughs> but I will talk to you later. Okay. All right. It was so great meeting you. Thank you so I'll much. I'll see you soon. Bye girl. Yep. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>